A big hello to all my wonderful KCT and Comet Cast friends, my dearest little children. I hope you're doing wonderful. Yes, and I'm going to review a college that is SJCE College. A lot of you children have asked me throughout the year, somewhere here and there, I see little comments are there popping up, ma'am. Please, can you do a review of SJCE? Even though we did it previously, okay, I want to give you clarity about one thing that is, there is a university that is JSS Science and Technology University. Now, under that comes SJCE, okay, that is basically a constituent or sister college that you have over here. Fine. So, there are two separate colleges. Do not mix them both together. Even though, okay, SGCA has its own website, but most of its detail could be found in the official website of JSS STU because it's a sister con college that is there. Okay, I hope you got it. Now, that's there in Mysore and over here, it will be having aided and unaided branches. I'm going to talk about that as well. The placement rates that is there. Okay, the fee structure which is there and hostel facilities, if at all, if there is any, I'll be discussing about that as well. So, Comet K aspirants not be sad seeing there's no uh, mentioning about Comet K. Yes, you can enter into this particular college with the help of Comet K, but only to one particular course. Okay, I'm going to talk about that as well. So, over the college, the name of the college is Sri Jayachama Rajendra College of Engineering. Year of establishment is 1963. Okay, location is Mysore. And as I told you, it is a constituent college of JSS Science and Technology University. Now, going ahead with the fee structure, which is very, very important. I told you there are two branches. Okay, there is aided branch and there is unaided branch. Aided as in government is aiding over here. That means the fees would be obviously lesser. So, according to what KEA has given the previous year, the fees for aided courses, oh my dear children, in aided colleges is right 42,866 rupees. Okay, now for the other courses, it will be like 1,700, 1,700,495 rupees. So, that is the thing. If you are getting into the courses via aided one, okay, so you aided ones. So, basically, there the fees would be this. If it is unaided course, I will be showing you what are the courses. It will be this much fees. Now, for Comet K, you can enter only to one particular course and that is really really important course which is computer science and engineering my dear children and the fees would be 281,477. Now this is a tentative fees that which was put down in the previous year along with it obviously there will be some additional fees okay that would be coming through the college okay so depending on whatever college you're getting into the fees would be added up. Fine. Does it uh, look fine for you? I hope it does. I hope I am helping you a bit at least. At least you you should be not that person who says that I do not have any idea about what the fee structure is and things like that. You should be having an idea and all according to it also you should be choosing your college. Obviously you have to see whether you can afford that or not, right? Or do we have any other option with lesser fees and things like that? Do we have other colleges with aided courses and things like that, okay? So, over here, the NIRF University Ranking, okay, so college ranking is not been mentioned in the NIRF. So, University Ranking, that is JSS STU Ranking is being mentioned and that is, that comes in a band of 201 to 300. Okay, so NIRF Ranking is decided on the basis of the faculty quality, on the base, on the, quali on the quality of the placements which are there and things like that. So, I think it sums a lot of things up here, right? Now, going ahead with the most important thing, the aided courses which are there. Okay, the college code, the seed matrix which is there and also the cutoff. Now, this is not for the year 2023, it is for the year, just a second, let me correct it so that no one comes and tells me, ma'am, this is wrong. So, this is for 2024, this uh, round to extended cutoff, I'm talking about the round to extended cutoff which is there, At the end whatever you get, right? So, for computer science and engineering, as you can see, it is 2,983. So, if you were a person who got something lesser than that, that means you were coming in this particular range you got 2000 suppose then you are eligible for putting this college as an option okay but remember the seats are just 60 the seats would be just 60 over here this was the seat matrix for the previous year we will be redoing a video okay where will be we will be giving you the new seat matrix once it is being released as of now it is not being released okay and the same goes uh, the lowest cutoff has been for polymer science and technology it was 2,69,480 rupees. Okay. Now, the college code is E021 for KCET. I hope you remember that. This is for the aided courses. Now, for the unaided courses, the same college has a different college code, which is why this is very much important. Suppose you got a rank, 
okay that is 2000 and you fill the while option entry you put the college code of the unaided courses then you would not you not be able to get into this particular course you get it so for aided courses the college code is e021 now let's see the unaided courses which is there but before that let's have a quick comparison so previous time the the highest cutoff was for cse was 2077 Okay, that's my hair. Just a second. It was what? 2077 and it extended up to what? 1,91,263 for polymer science and technology. But this year, this year they have loosened up a bit. Okay, you can see that they have loosened up a bit. If you, even if you get something around this also, you can get entry. But why? has it happened probably because the question paper uh, the previous year the question paper had what so many problems as in there were questions asked from the DDT portions which is why probably the cutoff had might have been went like that but this year 2025 according to the paper I think the cutoff could be a bit tighter rather than looser so you have to be mentally prepared for that as well and you should be making an option entry list according to that what are your chances you should be having all your dream colleges right there you should write down the cutoff also okay so that you have an idea but in the option entry list you have to only mention those colleges which you think potentially you can get into those particular colleges okay then only you should be putting that there yes now what should I do if I click on this whole thing will be going so just wait for a second okay I'll be back now going ahead and I also hope that you have noticed that through Comet K you cannot get entry to the aided courses it's just for KCET now for unaided courses which is just one that is computer science and engineering over here the college code for KCET is E284 okay and for Comet K it is E058 so here you can enter via Comet K as well as KCET for Comet K the it is 2024 again oh my god today the pen me nothing is responding properly <laughs> okay for the previous year the cutoff was 4026 4026 that means if someone got a rank within this probably might have entered to this particular college now if we're talking about comet k it was 5158 so anyone who has just recently appeared for comet k check through if you can actually get into this particular college with the rank that you're predicting okay obviously if the paper was too tough the rank which is there they will tighten up a bit if the paper was uh, sorry if the paper was too tough they will loosen up the rank a bit so that you can get cut off a bit so that you can get into otherwise if the paper has been easy they will tighten up the rank a bit so that only only selected children can get in okay so this is the funda behind it so yes according to it you can judge and we will also be putting up something more to it so that you understand where do you stand in the option entry thing okay so going ahead so this is the KCET cutoff for all the quota which is there now I just spoke about general merit okay that is the because that is usually the highest yeah now over here I have the list for 1G category 1K category so 1G category children should be having 7000 should be coming should be having 7301 rank should be having a rank within that and things like that for each category the cutoff is different my dear children now if you want to know about this you can ask us in the comment section we can provide you the link to this because obviously if you take a snip of it it might not work we are very very small letters are being mentioned over here now this is for what do you call this is for the aided courses this will be for the unaided courses which is there cool and also I wanted to tell you something regarding the fees regarding the fees which is over here my dear children depending upon the category your fees changes for example I told 1,77,495 is there but for SNQ category it is 31,650 for uh, SEST who has an annual income up to 2.5 it is 750 for annual income up to 10 lakh it is 750 and category 1 annual income up to 2.5 for them the fees is this much so you should be knowing the difference as well so that there should be no one in trouble saying that okay ma'am I belong to a category and you said basically i have to pay one lakh seven thousand no you don't have to okay so please go through go check this uh, details out there so what is the purpose of this video is to help you out with something so that you know something you should not say i know nothing about anything you should be saying i know something i can research by myself also and i'll try to find out more things my dear children i know it's vacation time you might be you might be in a uh, what's say in a situation where you're trying to settle up a bit uh, what's say calm down a bit i totally get it 
you should be totally doing that you should be helping your body to revive back but 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 make sure you're taking at least 15 to 20 minutes of your time researching a college each single day it will be really really helpful for you during option entry because in option entry whatever cho choices you're giving depending on it only you will be awarded with the college and that should not be a bad college okay since when you have time now please go for it okay chalo next thing placement record now this is where i should be telling you something very honestly so i went to their website in their website baba it's like a, a old uh, what say when apes and every monkeys were there from that particular time they have given a lot of data but not about 2024 25 so this is the data that i got from 2023 which i have put over here i do not know how relevant it relevant it is at this particular point of time but still just to have you just to give you an idea i have put it over here check through it so computer science and engineering is the one that got the highest salary in the year 2023 which was 56 LPA my DHLN followed by I think it was electronics in communication engineering okay over here the highest salary was 35 LPA always when someone says that the highest salary is this much does not mean that every child out there would be getting the highest salary right no not everyone gets that only a few of you might be getting it always whenever you see a college with great highest salary and things like that always remember this particular thing that only one or two person would be getting it you should be focusing on the average salary that the average human being would be getting okay so please make sure you're going through that and over here in their website itself that is jsstu's website because they have a conjoined thing also and there's a separate thing then the separate thing i got this from the conjoined thing that is their official website where everything mixed is given over there i found this the same information i've been putting for jss as to you as well i'm telling you beforehand because should i be putting any information which is not from their official website no because that would not be correct you get we get it and even this also i cannot complete we cannot completely believe it which is why i always say if you have friends up in some colleges please talk to them okay please talk to them is it actually true do you think that your friends got placed or not and think have have an idea of a lot of things in your life my dear it will be really really helpful okay be smart there so 800 plus offers according to 2023 24 placement data okay 60 lp is the highest for 2023 24 this is for 23 only this is the whole session that is i think by the ending of 2024 a few children might have got 60 lpa now the median salary this is important it was 9 lpa was 9 lpa which is not bad it's okay okay now 400 plus recruiters were on the campus uh, in the year 2023 24 recruitment process okay so this is the data that i have i hope that i am helping you in some ways cool so with this i get a brief idea which is that course that pays me the least at least that idea you will be getting which is the course that could pay me the highest okay which is the course that would pay me at least in the medium range you get it so this is what you can figure out from all this data which has been put up over here fine chalo next the hostel facilities now in the hostel facilities what did ma'am get let's see so for girls hostel i saw they have two hostels one is this and the other one is this so for ug now again as i told you they have put up the data which is like back from the cavemen and things like that so it is 2015 16 and 2017 18 that i've got okay where they are saying one uh, one hostel's fees is 65000 back at that time 2017 18 it was 70900 for girls hostel there are two girls hostel my dear children now obviously time has changed it's been years have been passed down my dear children if you talk about 2017 almost like up to 8 years have been passed by so make sure what you can do is we can contact to this number this number has been given in their website itself you can just ask what is the hostel fees and things like that as a help that i can do from my end and also as i said if you have your friends there please ask them how does it work always it is not necessary to go for the college hostel which is there you can also uh, be in some pgs and things like that only if the pg food and also facilities are actually good you should not always compromise on your what do you call just because okay there's two um uh, what do you call them um, it should not be like it's too costly so i should be avoiding it but this cost really less but it, i'm avoiding my health over there you should not be doing that okay make sure if that hostel 
uh, okay it is costly but uh, it uh, really has good food facility available water facility available and things like that please think about it and also if not then go for other options with lesser price but still with the same level of comfort which is there okay because my dear children you should not be messing around your health right so that is also important right now for boys hostel my dear boys uh, there's only one hostel and uh, I don't know the website was updated long back I think so so 2017-2019 the fees was 65,500 okay now over here again I have got a number for you guys as well please make sure you are calling them and asking them if they say that ma'am some uh, if they say that uh, we are not working over here anymore do not call us and disturb and keep the phone right there if at all i find any legit information my dear children jokes apart jokes apart i'm telling you if at all we find something that is useful we would be putting it down so i i always try to make sure that i am not forging any data okay i am not doing any uh, what's say uh, wrong i am not giving you wrong information i try my best to give you correct information my dear children which is why even though it was old i put it just for you to have an idea that this was the scenario back in that particular time so this is kind of costly so probably you you should be just asking to the people who are studying there whether it's worth the cost out there you get it so please make sure you are doing your research i'll be doing my research and if at all you need any help apart from all this thing please let me know in the comment section i'm here to help you out and not just me all the other teachers all your wonderful teachers out there are here to help you out so make sure you're doing that and if at all you like this video if you thought that this particular video has been useful for you do not forget to like share and also subscribe okay share with your friends who are in need who do not have any idea or even if you do not want to share the video you can give this information by the word of mouth also you can tell them that this is the scenario we have to make the an option entry list it is very important okay so help your friends like that so bye bye take care my dear children wishing you all the best you are gonna end up in the best college out there